Hello, and welcome to this new 3CX tutorial. A ring group is a virtual extension which integrates multiple extensions together. That means that by contacting one number, you'll be able to contact a group of extensions until one of the group members answers or the timeout is reached. This is what we are going to see today. The ring group feature provided by 3CX can work in different ways, but first let's see how to get started with the ring groups. On the left menu of the management console, you can find the ring group option. By clicking here, you will find four available options. Edit and delete options. These options will allow you to change or delete the ring groups that you have created. You can do so by clicking on the specific ring group and clicking on the wanted action. Now, let's add a new ring group. Click on the add ring group button and you will find the following window. Over here you can set a name for the ring group that you are going to create. Set a virtual extension number. Set a different extension number so that we can make sure that the extension, in this case 8001, is going to be a number assigned for ring groups. Now, the ring strategy. There are two options to choose from, prioritized hunt and ring all. The prioritized hunt strategy always rings the first available member in the list. If this person doesn't reply on the ringing time, in this case 20 seconds, the next member on the list will take over the call. If the second agent on the list doesn't reply or is busy, the call will go to the third and so on until all the agents are called. If there's no answer at all, we need to go to destination of no answer option and set a path. Now, the ring all strategy. Different from the priority hunt strategy, this one is going to ring all available agents simultaneously for ring time. When this ring time finishes, we need to go to destination of no answer option and set a path. Please note that the ring time is the total time that the phone is going to be ringing. What's more, the group members field allows you to add a group member. By clicking here, you will find a window with all the extensions that you can find, then select the ones that are going to be part of the group. You can search for them as well. Press OK when finished. By selecting one or more members you can delete them, move them up, or move them down. You can optionally assign a DID to receive calls directly to this extension. And the destination if no answer. Disregarding the ring strategy that you use, always at the end if no answer we will get to this option. When this happens, you can choose from End call, connect to a specific extension, voice mailbox for extension, connect to a digital receptionist, connect to a queue or a ring group, forward to an outside number, and send the call to Flow Apps. Normally the option by default is to finish the call. After finishing the configuration, press OK and you will be redirected to the Ring Groups page, where you can see the Ring Group that was just created. Another functionality is the Paging Groups. Paging is used to make a one-way announcement to a Ring Group via the phone speaker, without the called party picking up the handset. To enable Paging Groups, you need to enable Dial Codes. For this you must to go to Settings, then Dial Codes, and then Paging. Over there you have to find the paging option. There's not going to be a paging dial code by default, but you can set this over here. For this example we will set 11. But you can set any dial code that you are not using in the moment. Click OK to save. Let's get back to the ring groups, then paging. Being here, you are going to find the general field, where you have to set. The name of your paging group. The virtual extension number. Remember to set the extension number as we did with the ring groups, and the ring strategy, you will find two different ring strategies. Paging, this would be the alert paging group that adds the extensions to the page in the section group members. Over here you can have up to 64 members of the paging group. Paging multicast, that is suitable for large paging groups and requires phones supporting multicast, on the same local subnet as 3CX. What you need to configure here is, Define the IP address of the multicast channel where the audio has to be sent. This has to be a local IP address and has to be an IP reserved for multicasting. The port can be any available high port, in this case we can leave it as it is. You can select from the audio codec that you can see in this dropdown. And the packet time is the size of the audio packets that the PBX will be sending, please keep it as 20. Optionally you can assign a DID. After everything is done click on the OK button and you will be finished. There is one more step to follow, click on the extension that you want to be in the multicast group, go to phone provisioning and where it says enable multicast paging set the multicast that you have created, press ok to save the changes. And that would be all for today. See you in the next tutorial video.